Hello, hello everybody. What's up, Dennis Allen here. Always wear safety goggles. So, what's going on? I'm in the back of Teddy, the Airstream. Let me flip the camera here. There she is, 1975 Airstream. I forget what kind. Uh, nothing out here I shouldn't have. What is it? Trade win, yen, land, yacht. That's the jammy jam right there. Airstream exclusive. Got a little snack. Look, is this gangster? This is kind of like ghetto. Even like tuna fish when I was poor. Just a can of that and I was using this as a spoon. Anyway, got a little solar. A little for the extras for the bunny rabbit. Anyway, what I've been doing, I don't know if you saw this in my other video. I'll try to peek in there. Can you see in there? I've been, oh, I hope there's nothing in there. It's a gun. But I took out all the walls in the Airstream. And uh, I'm going to make the bed kind of the, the back part there. But there's the old septic tank. So I've been digging out the, the metal tin. And uh, yeah, cross members are rusted away here. When I took the tour of the factory in 75... Um, I didn't take the factory tour in 75, but in 1975 when they were making this on the tour I learned from one of the guys that actually worked here is that <clears throat> uh, They used a lot of metal so this whole thing is supposed to be Aluminum and stainless things like that, but 1975 metal was expensive So what they told me is they used a lot of steel and you could see how it all just rooted away. I mean, that's all that's all tetanus right there. Cat pee. That's the floorboard. It's crumbling part. I'm gonna just replace the back. This thing's never gonna be pulled on a road again. So there's no reason to really make this road worthy. It's just gotta be sleep worthy. I wanna pull this thing out. Maybe reuse that, I don't know. It's a weird size, but this whole thing came out in one shot. It's held on by a half of rivet, maybe, which is kind of scary. Well, I'll tell you this thing. I mean, this did drive all the way from Ohio. <laughs> but let's see how it turns out. Back to you, Bob. Here's a little. Oh, shoot. Monkey, case it each. What are you doing, monkey? I told you you got to do your homework, and you're back here playing around in the hole. Get back to work, you little dirty animal. Now, you're so cute, monkey. You don't have a homework. Um, so, a little trick with something like this with screws, you can usually just push them over and they unscrew. And you can hold that and break that free. Of course, this one's not going to do it. Yeah, it did it. See? And then you could. I didn't have to get my nail in there. So turn. See? Just a little trick. Monkey! Monkey doodles, what are you doing? Daddy's talking to himself. See? Oh, why are there so many sensors? Good lord. Good golly, Miss Molly. Woo! -hoo! Sure like to party. Woo! -hoo! Hey, does anybody out there use Odyssey? It is a new YouTube thing. Oh, this is my dirty laundry basket. In an old. Oh, so you can see right there. Kind of, there's my bed. Uh, what we're doing there. Whoo! I was just talking to my buddy Anthony from Long Island. He says the corona is pretty bad out there. What's the corona like in your neck of the woods, folks? Oh, look, this is broken, so I don't even have to care even less. That's probably why this is all rusted. What's the corona like in your neck of the woods? I could just break this stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna start breaking. So, who would have thought all my years in a junkyard in Newark, New Jersey um, would be paying off later on in life? So I've been using a hacksaw, I can't get it up anymore. So I'm using my ghetto hacksaw. If I had the DeWalt battery one, I wouldn't have to do this. Um, but I use this method a couple of times upstairs. Works quite well. As long as you have like razor hands or not razor hands, uh, oven mitts. 
realize it kind of hurts holding this. But, of course it's not going to go well now. Because you usually need two hands. But you can just do this, get in tight spots. Uh, yeah, definitely two hands would definitely help. See how easy? Let's go nice and slow. I could put a, a wrench to hold it. How? I could hold it with a wrench so it's not digging into my hands and cutting my hands. But it wouldn't be as fun. Now, now if this thing falls on my hand, it'll probably cut me. So, again, kids, this is not what to do, what to do channel. Ow, see? This is a what not to do channel. This is how you don't do it. Like a junkyard dog. In the hood. Kids, do things the right way. So you don't end up like me. No, I'm happy the way I ended up. Alright, whatever. This, and then... Junkyard style. Just, ow! Oh, Jesus. Good lord. You know, I'm buying that tool eventually. Today would be a great day to buy it, but it's so nice out. I don't want to waste my time driving around. Hey, this is supposed to come out. Oh, I see, because you're over that. Man, I didn't even think about that. Whatever. Let's see. Anyway, you get the point. Yank that mofo out. All right, oh, we got this part too. Just pretty much ripping it. What this? Wow, look at the great insulation. Not. Whew. Solar panels are still hooked up. Try not to hit those wires, because I'll let you keep myself and Messed up my solar panels. I did chop a wire once digging where I did something and I kind of hit the wire. I know, folks. Look how bad this is. But who cares, right? Oh, there's my drill. My tools. My Leatherman. Had this since I was 17. Not this exact one, but never bought another one. The last one I did lose, my buddy Eddie Santos gave me his. He doesn't use that one much anymore. They break it. They've been, you know, not that good. Like they used to be. The tip broke. Who's that? Just a cat in there. Uh, tip broke. One of these things come out easily. Like, look at that. It's like a loose tooth. Whatever. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Holy cow, this is a piece of board. That looks pretty good, so I could cut that out and then I could pull that tank out to the upper stratosphere and cut some more of those pipes out and then put the aluminum back up. Definitely gonna insulate this, so. Yikes. Gotta rip the aluminum over there. This is top version. <clears throat> I was just disconnecting things there. I gotta get this out. I wanted to just cut this out. Oh boy, a little more wires. I can just cut those wires. Um, oh, jeez. Another uh, cutter. I'll be right back. The wrong way to cut wires. Junkyard method. Whoops. Maybe one at a time. This light sucks. What the heck? I don't know what's going on. Usually it works in one shot. There we go. Nope. I think I'm slipping or something. <clears throat> there we go. Monkey, I wanted to film you leaving. Monkey's the first one to go out that hole. But yeah, that's not a hole that you want underneath your bed. So I'm going to clean this all up. Take out the batteries. I'm going to get a new lithium ion battery. And uh, replace those. They're still doing okay. They definitely last. But I'm going to use those somewhere else. 
upgrade mine because they do go dead sometimes if it doesn't um, if it isn't sunny for a couple days monkey come on back in there you go see people didn't believe it was a real hole all right I think that's gonna be it for this video I don't want to do any more work um, I'm not gonna disconnect that until I get a new battery then I'll redo that system those batteries are gonna stay underneath the bed I have no idea how I'm going to access it. Because the bed's going to be a queen size all the way up to about here. Look at my daughter. Look how cute she is. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to access stuff back there. I'm going to have the seed pods. These are husks. Wheat husk or some kind of husk. Um, yeah, that's it. Alright, folks. Please like and subscribe and all that jibber jabber. I don't know if that even, I even care because I don't get paid from YouTube. So, <laughs> you have to subscribe. I mean, yeah, do it if you like watching my videos. That's where I live. Left this. I mean, left New York City for this. What do you think? Good or bad idea? Comment below. Love you all. Peace out. And from Long Island, thanks for reaching out. Hey, that rhymed. I'm out. Cup Scout. That's all I got.